Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new, I am Siobhan Mead and I'm totally blind and I make videos about blindness and what I get up to on my daily life as a blind person. And in today's vlog, I'm gonna be talking about why I had my eyes removed. So I'm kicking back and totally relaxed and comfortable in my cozy corner of the internet. And I'm just gonna be having a discussion with you guys because there have been so many people ask about my blindness and what I can see, what I can't see. And I've done a video on how I lost my sight. So I thought it was about time to speak to you guys and tell you why I had my eyes removed. And it's a personal journey. Not everyone's journey is going to be exactly the same as mine. This is just my experience. And this is what my YouTube is about, talking about my own experiences as someone living with blindness. So without further ado, let's get straight into story time. Why I had my eyes removed. So from the age of 13 years old, I was diagnosed with glaucoma. And basically what glaucoma is, is a buildup of pressure in the eyes. Now I'm not medic medically trained, so I'm gonna link it in the description box below what glaucoma is. So if you're interested, you can go and check it out. So for me, as a teenager, I was living with very limited sight and the pressure of the glaucoma was constantly rising. Now I had so many different operations to try and fix that. Laser surgery, countless trips to hospitals and more fields to try and alleviate that pressure through medication, through eye drops. And it did work when I had the laser surgery and all of the staff and the consultants and nurses and doctors were absolutely fantastic. They always looked after me so well. But there came a point in my life where I decided that I'm gonna to have to do something one day because the, the pain, the unbearable, debilitating pain that I would face probably on a regular basis mostly day to day I would have extreme eye pressure, headaches and it was just so uncomfortable and I found that my daily life was just getting to the point where I couldn't do the things that I wanted to do and it was important that I wanted to live my life as best I could. I made adaptions and I coped and even with the pain I wanted to carry on with life but it got to the stage where I knew that one day I would have to make the decision about possibly having them removed. Now, when I lost my sight at 16, it became very clear to me that I would need to do that. I would need to make that decision. Well, it took me a long time. Psychologically, I knew that it would be the right thing for me to do, but it took me many years to get to that point because I was worried that firstly, that it wouldn't look cosmetically good or it wouldn't be pleasing to the eye and I was worried that it would ruin my face. And I know that sounds really vain, um, but I was just nervous because I was still young and I wanted to make sure that it wasn't going to ruin what I already had. And it got to the point where in the back of my mind, it was just whirring around. I was speaking to consultants, speaking to doctors, and they said, look, you haven't got any sight now, and you basically have blind eyes, so you could have the surgery. And I really wanted to keep my real eyes as long as I could, even though they were causing me a lot of pain. They were what I was born with, they were a part of me, and it just took me a long while mentally to kind of get over that initial fear of everything looking not as it should. So when it got to the point where I was going to A&E with debilitating pain, with extreme eye pressure of early 50s, 51, 52, and for them saying, you, know, you really need to, to think about the next steps. That's when I decided after many trips to A&E, late at night at some points, traveling into London to Moorfields, just gone midnight, it got to that stage where 
I knew the time had come that I would need to make this decision. So I spoke to lots of consultants and doctors about the options and I had the most amazing professor, Professor Rose, and he was just fantastic at explaining everything about what procedures I could do, what direction I wanted to go down, and the avenue I chose for me personally, this is my own experience, everyone is gonna have different experiences and, and may find that it, other things would work better for them. But I decided, along with Professor Rose, that I would go for an evisceration, not a full enucleation. Now again, I'm not medically trained, I'm not a doctor, so I'm not going to go down too much in terms of what they both are, but the simple fact is uh, a full enucleation is where the eyes would be totally removed and there would be nothing left. It would just be an empty shell and that, that you would get prosthetic eyes and a way to go. Now, I wanted to go down the evisceration route, which was to leave parts of the eyes, but take out the sensitive part, take out the part that was actually causing me the pain, because that would be more natural. That way I would still have slight movement in the eye, so it would be, for me, much more natural. There'll still be a little bit of movement, so it's not going to look so still and that's the what that's what I decided to do because it was the best option and I thought it's going to cosmetically make me feel a lot better and just by removing the parts that are going to cause the pain I think that was the best option and I've never looked back so the first operation um, I had was back in 2014 and then the second one I had out was not until 2018. Now I wanted to leave um, a few years between them because I wanted to see how I got on and I wanted to see if it was the right thing, I made the right choice and that cosmetically it didn't look anything other than just normal, um, whatever normal is. And now I have two prosthetic eyes and I am so thrilled th with them. I don't get any pain. I say I don't get any get a tiny bit of pain from time to time but I do suffer with headaches and migraines anyway so it could be just a mixture of that but I don't get the build up of pressure in the back of the eyes I don't get that debilitating I can't do anything the pain is just too intense this you know what can I do with my life now because I'm constantly in pain and struggling to do anything so now you can see I'm pointing to to my eyes without moving too much um, so the camera still can focus on me. Both of my eyes are prosthetic. I'm tapping them and it's plastic. Uh, that might gross some people out. Put it in the comments below if you do want me to think about in my next video to remove my eyes because I know that people are really curious. There's nothing disgusting, there's nothing gross. It, it really isn't gory behind there. And I just think I want to be a person who comes and throws out to you guys just a little bit of raising awareness about disability and my prosthetic eyes are just a part of me now and I feel that I'm not in any pain. My eyes look and feel absolutely fantastic. The feedback I've got from members of my family, from my nieces and nephews and from my colleagues, all of my friends and, and people that just know me said that it looks absolutely fantastic and what a good job because for me it's the best decision I ever made and without further ado let me know if you have got any prosthetic eyes or if you're looking at getting a prosthetic eye or you're in conversations with doctors honestly it's not scary at all Psychologically, I think that's the biggest barrier that I struggled with because I wanted to make sure that it was the right thing for me. So I did wait a long time, but by talking to lots of doctors and consultants, I found that they gave me the reassurance and confidence I needed. So let me know in the comments below whether you know someone who's going through that process or whether you've been through that process yourself. Because for me personally, I had a really good experience. They were so thorough and I didn't have any, 
I didn't have any issues with it at all. They were just absolutely fantastic from start to finish. When I had to go to get my eye molds done, they were just so supportive and they asked me what I wanted and to give me that personal experience. It was person-led, person-focused and that's what it's all about. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget you can of course subscribe, hit the notification bell so when I upload new content you'll be the first to know.